Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up Expo notifications for your React Native Expo based app and how to run that application using the development build of your app. In the previous video, we saw how to set up EAS for our application. And if you haven't configured the EAS, just follow that video and you will be good to go. To start with the setup of Expo notification, the first thing we need is the Google Service account key. We just need to follow these instructions here. This is the official documentation of the Expo for React Native Expo push notifications. The first thing, the first step here is we need to create a Firebase project. As we have already created a Firebase project in our first video, we will uh, skip this video so for the second step we have to go to the firebase console and open the project setting and in there we have to open the service account app just click this link So in here, we just have to generate a new private key for our application. Click on this private key and generate key. So this will create a private generate key for us. So we will save it somewhere safe. Just save it somewhere safe. After that, we just have to upload this key to our expo uh, project to upload uh, this on the expo just click on this link select a project and visit link in here just click on this and go to the fcm v1 service account key we are not going to upload our key here because this service is going to be deprecated on 20th July. So we will just add our key on FCMV1 and just close the file. And hit save. So our private key has been uploaded on the expo app after that we have to generate a google service.json file from our firebase console for that just head to the project general settings so here we are using web app but for the google service.json file we need android platform so just click on the android platform and write the same Android package name that you have used in your environment.json file in the previous video. This need to be same. So just copy paste this Android nickname you can type to glorify and just click on the register app. After that, just download this Google service or JSON and save it in the root directory of your project. After that, just click next, skip this and continue to console. So we have now two platforms, web and Android, and we have also downloaded our Google service or JSON file. Now let us head back to our VS code and we can see that Google and service or JSON is in our root directory. Now the next step is we have to upload this Google service or JSON file to our expo app. So for that just copy this command from the repository and paste it here. And hit enter. 
we have to give the path just this so the new secret has been created and we needed this secret because in our app.config.js file we have to give path of the google service file so we have uploaded this path or this file to our expo and it will dynamically be called when we will build our application now to run our application we have to create a development build for our application just copy this command ps build dash dash profile development dash dash platform android and paste it in the terminal and hit enter this will start building your application and we will wait for the application to build this will take some time and I will get back to you as soon as this is completed so the build has been created and it took around 13 minutes and 50 seconds so the next step we have to do is install this build on our device so we will be installing it, uh, uh, it on our own devices or you can also run this on an emulator if you have installed by just pr uh, pressing by but we are going to run this on our own device so just scan the QR code from your mobile and it will give you a link just go to that link and install the APK from here so the it will start downloading the APK after the APK has installed, I will show you next what to do. So the APK has been installed. Just click on this download file and click on install. So it is installing the app. Now just open the app and it will open this app in development mode and on the terminal of the VS code write the command yarn start so here on VS code the our server has started and now write the URL here write HTTP colon slash double slash 192.168.2.15 colon 8081 so actually this is the URL here you just have to remove these percentage 3af 2f and percentage 2f this and you just have to replace these with colon and double slashes and this is the port number which we have been using 8081 so just click on the connect and it will start building the app So it is asking for notifications to enable them. You just have to go to the notifications and allow them. And just cancel this and click on this. Now you just have to create an account for this app because we are creating an account for the first time. Just write test at the red gmail.com password will be one two three four five six and one two three four five six and just click on create an account
so it is registering our account on the firebase and after that you have to submit your details i am going with the student right now and level of education right now is middle school subjects i prefer english science history and in person i want to study in in person after that just i want to enable the location okay and refresh the location actually this app is still in production and it is showing some errors or warnings so this was the app and this is how you create a build and start in in development mode so if you want to contribute to this repository you can follow these guidelines and in just create a new branch for the repository create a new branch and submit your code and submit your feature whatever you are working on if you have any questions or any query or any feedback you can just comment down below so that's it for today see you next time